Hello. One of very popular design at the moment for baby showers, new babies, um, juvenile birthdays is the hot air balloon style um, with the teddy bear underneath as if he is holding a bunch of helium balloons. Um, I've got a slightly different take on that that makes it look a little bit more realistic um, rather than a sort of large topiary. We're going to use um, individual balloons to make them look as if they are flying. And I thought it'd be interesting to show you how that works. Um, so we're going to start by building the framework on which to put all of the balloons. So I'm using um, a lamp stand and I need to cover the black um, because obviously it would be better in a, in a pale colour. We're going to cover it in white and I've got a method of doing that using a Sempertex 660. Um, which is one of the Linkaloon family because it's got the tip on the end, but it's obviously very long um, and you can cover the entire f uh, pole with a single balloon. So firstly, we'll, we'll show you how to do that. You want to inflate your balloon fully. In fact, as tight as you dare. So... So it is really fully inflated to its full almost 60 inch length. Hold it for a little while to let the, the latex relax and then let the air out. And then just remove the very tip with a pair of scissors and when you pull it down onto the pole it can be a little tricky to get this started um, because it has a tendency to want to, to stick on the top of the the pole here which we don't want it to do but there we go and pull it all the way down to the bottom there. Now it's possible that that will grip the pole tight enough to hold the tension but I'm not going to risk it. So I'm going to take a piece of modelling balloon and just tie it nice and tightly and firmly around a few times just to stop the end of the whoops, the end of the uh, 660 sliding back up the uh, the pole here. Tie that on. There we go. And then we need to stretch it up to the top of the pole. I'm going to be armed with another scrap of 260 to secure it in the end. So get your fingers in the top here so that you can the air will get into the balloon and pull it all the way up. Now I'm not tall enough so I'm going to put this down on the floor and then you'll see what happens. Put your foot on the base so it doesn't fly away and then just go up to the top like that and then use your scrap that you had ready to tie it off and make sure it doesn't slide back down again. So it's a really really quick and easy way to cover up to six feet of pole nice and smoothly as long as we've got the colours. The 660s are in a, a limited range of colours but um, as long as it works that is a really fast way of doing it. So now we're going to build the rest of the framework. So all of the balloons for this design will be attached to basically a topiary ball which will go on the top here. Um, I'm using the Sempertex fashion terracotta for this because the rest of the uh, balloons will be, all be related colours. So we have fashion coffee, fashion chocolate, fashion peach blush and fashion white sand and I'm putting the terracotta in the middle for a little bit of depth of colour in case it shows through. For this part of the framework I'm going to inflate to 10 inches. So make them too big and then 
downsize them so that they're nice and durable. And then tie these together into a duplet. So just cross the necks all the way around once and tie. So that's a duplet of those. We need six of those. Um, and I've got a few here that I made already. Now there are various ways of putting topiary balls together. Um, I prefer to add them a duplet at a time. I have tried to make two lots of six and twist them together and I find it just a little bit too awkward. So for me, the, the best method is to take one duplet, second one, push them together, wrap round, and then keep adding duplets until you've got them all. I also find it easier to put what you already have against myself and pull each subsequent duplet through. Um, that gives you something to sort of work against rather than trying to push them together away from yourself. If you sit this against you here, get hold of the duplet and just pull it through. Always make sure that when you're adding a duplet it goes right through the middle of what you've got. So don't twist this around a single balloon otherwise it won't be round. So always sort of divide what you have and pull through. So that's five pairs and then the final pair. If you've overinflated and downsized then these will be soft and uh, you should find it no problem but if you do find, find yourself struggling to get this last pair in instead of tying them close up against the balloons like you would normally tie them nearer to the necks so that you've got a little bit more stretch and you'll find that that will make it easier to get the last pair through but you will have a better looking topiary if all of your balloons are tied together with the same to with the same tension and there we have it 12 balloons and you know you've got it right because from whichever angle you can see a five petaled flower so it's in the center with five around and it doesn't matter which way you turn it you will always see that so we're going to attach the topiary to the top of the pole just push the pole into the middle and then I like to wrap two of the balloons in the topiary over each other just to lock it in place that keeps it nice and sturdy so that basically is the framework on which we're now going to hang everything else and it's done very simply I'll just add a couple to show you how it's done to begin with this time we're going to inflate them to 11 inches um, so that they are properly balloon shaped and look like they would be helium filled balloons again over inflate though it's a Sempertex balloon so it's capable of going considerably larger it's a 12 inch balloon but we're going to use it at 11 make it big let it down to 11 and it will increase the durability of the whole thing and we're going to tie a ribbon on it as if it were a helium balloon So we go several of those. Um, depending on how full you want your design to be, you can probably think in terms of using 40 or 50 of these. Um, probably get away with 30 if you, if you don't want it so big. But between 30 and 50. In a nice range of colours that suits the client's brief. Perhaps just do two or three like this scissors are there and one more let's do uh, a coffee we're oh, sorry a chocolate one okay and 
and we're going to attach these onto the topiary ball. Now there's various ways of doing that, whichever suits you. Um, glue dots will work, um, various, whatever is your preferred method of sticking things together is okay. Um, for things like this, I like to use rubber cement, um, which is latex based and dries really quickly and gives you an, an instant stick. The downside of it is that once it's stuck, it's stuck. So if you've got it in the wrong place, um, you've got a bit of a problem. So you do need to be quite careful about where you put your balloons. Um, this is available from um, various um, sort of hobby places, but you know, the a very famous online retailer will be able to get it for you. And we're going to stick the balloons into the gaps all over. So we'll start with one under there. Hold it in place, get your rubber cement, a little dab on there, and a little dab on there. Hold it for a couple of seconds, and it's done. And basically, work your way around the frame, adding your balloons where you want them. Now, because of the frame, the topiary is built of the same kind of colour palette as everything else, um, it doesn't matter if there are some gaps. If you see the terracotta through the gaps, it's not really a problem. So you can add them relatively loosely and then tuck in others to fill, if you like, afterwards. The ones that are below the halfway point, so from here down, will have the ribbons attached. They will then be gathered, got the glue in the wrong place, they will be get, then be gathered together for the teddy to hold. Above the halfway point, where they start to go back in again at the top, it's not necessary to have the ribbons um, because they will just get in the way. So just tie your ribbons on these ones here. And then once it's all finished, we'll gather them together like this to create the, the, the bouquet and attach the teddy afterwards. So I've added lots of balloons around the back and just continue working, adding your balloons until you've completely covered everything that you want to see. And if I turn it around, then you'll see the finished effect there. So once it's all complete, gather all the, all the ribbons together. I've tied my teddy on with some ribbon here to the tip of his ear and again also there at the top of one leg created a little cloud of white balloons at the base another piece of ribbon tied onto a little clump of his fur actually on his hand ribbons into that tied together so there's no pins no nothing like that it's all quite safe from that point of view but i think you can see that it's a, a quite a nice free form look and it really does give the impression of Teddy holding a large bunch of helium balloons.